At AFN Osan, the Eagle serving America's best. My name is Army Sergeant Aaron Lloyd, currently 418, and still joining me in the studio, two guests of mine from CYSS and the VIB, Visual Information Branch. I got Jared Barrick. Thanks for being here, sir, again. Thank you for having me, sir. Absolutely. And George Jumara, the Chief of the Visual Information Branch. Uh, sir, you as well. Uh, welcome. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks for having me here. Absolutely. So we started out the, the show there, kind of introducing our guests, letting you know about CYSS, as Child, Youth, and School Services. You guys got YCTV over there. Yes, we do. Youth Center Television, which is extremely impressive. I mean, as someone who's older and looking back to that age, I did nothing Nothing that advanced, so kudos to the kids working there. But we want to talk about the different events and trips you guys lined up, because as I teased earlier in the show, you guys have like your hand in so many things and different age groups and peoples. And the one I want to talk about right now, I'm excited about it. It's a go-kart trip. Oh, you're not the only one excited about it, absolutely. So we're going go-karting. Is this a new thing? Or? It's a new thing for us. Okay. Um, this is the first time um, in my tenure that we've been able to uh, make an attempt to make this trip. And we're going to do it on Saturday, March 14th. Um, and we found it right near Camp Humphreys, maybe about 20 minutes, 30 minute bus ride away. So this is in Chunin, close. right? Yes, sir. Which is interesting because I never really heard of the city myself until a friend of mine had recommended an Indian restaurant down there. Mm. Now I go there all the time for this Indian restaurant, but I didn't even know this existed down there. Yeah, it's down there and it's actually on top. It's on a roof. It's a rooftop go-kart what? area. So then you couldn't nice. see it from the ground level at the Indian restaurant you were at, but it's <sighs> up there. I'm not going to, to be honest, it doesn't really surprise me because the few times that I've been just for Indian food, truth be told if you leave the train station there there's a giant german hotel would you ever expect that in the republic of korea that you'd get off in some random city and there's a giant german hotel i've learned not to be surprised by anything <laughs> <laughs> to say right well that's really cool so if you want to go on a go-karting trip uh, when is this again? What's what's the date uh, on it? We're heading out there on Saturday, March 14th. Okay. Um, we need to have a parent permission slip uh, through CYS due on Wednesday, March 11th in okay. order to take part in the trip. Um, it's a $15 registration fee, and that covers the multiple go-kart rides that we're going to go on, uh, the transportation there as well. And then youth will need to bring their own uh, Korean wine because we're going to go to a department store nearby okay. as well afterwards to do some lunch, and the kids want to do some shopping, sure. anything like that, give them a little free time to roam around in the afternoon. And just to clarify for anyone listening right now, people of all ages, CYSS, as Child, Youth, and School Services, the stuff we're talking about effectively, this is mostly for kids, right? This isn't something that anyone could go to? No, uh, this one is for 6th through 12th graders. So those are 6th through 12th graders who are registered with the Child, Youth, and School Services at Camp Humphreys. Okay. Um, those, that's uh, all the events we're talking about today, except for the, the Jindu Festival we're going to talk about. Okay. It's a little bit of partnership, so adults okay. have an opportunity to go as well, but we'll get into that. Well, I was going to say, do it. the parents ever, like, do that? You Like, they get jealous of the kids and the trips you guys get together and say, oh, well, Mommy needs to come, or they, Daddy. They absolutely do. I think <laughs> that goes through their head, and, and I want to say right now, I'm glad you said that, they're welcome to volunteer. Oh, uh, We're always nice. looking for volunteers. Um, we'll never turn anybody down who wants to come in and register at our parent central office to be a volunteer um, and help us out not only within our trips but uh, any kind of talents or or things they'd like to offer any sure. new programs we sure. can do with the youth we're always open to it um, so they can call 753-3413 that's the parent central office so anybody who's interested in volunteering to anything to do with youth programs youth sports uh, teen center preschool school age center we have it across the board um, we always are looking for volunteers and anybody who thinks they have a talent or hobby that they can bring to help us uh, build better programs. That's a very politician's uh, segue, by the way. You ever thought about going into politics, Jared? Uh, I'm getting used to being on the radio now. <laughs> it, it's it's funny you say that because it's kind of true, right? You open up the mic and all the people are listening. Like, you kind of have to be a little PC, right? Oh, absolutely. But I'm trying to reach everybody. And it's true. We, we have this great opportunity, and, and we need more volunteers. Yeah. We could always a ask for more volunteers. And in a very selfish, level. practical way, this is a way for someone of that age to go on the trip, right? Absolutely. You like go-karting? Come on. And, hey, if you do have the child and you want to bring them along, and then you can take your anger out on them in a go-kart. And it's <laughs> Well, be careful. We're up on the roof, though. <laughs> oh, it's not too much <laughs> anger. woo hoo hoo, -hoo. Well, that's very cool. So the trip itself, again, Saturday, March 14th is the trip. You'll be leaving at 10, getting back around 4 in the evening. That's in Chunan, the go-kart field trip through CYSS. Again, if they want to get in touch with you guys, their phone number to call? Um, they can call me, uh, Jared, at the Youth Center, 753 Five six one four, and I can give them all the program information that they need. Um, if they're looking to get registered, get their son or daughter registered in our program, or sure. again, if they want to volunteer, sure. then call our parent central office at seven five three 
3413. Too easy. So that's just one trip we're highlighting. A few others on the way. Jindo Miracle Sea Road Festival field trip. This one's very cool. We were talking about it, looking at pictures online, kind of what it looks like. I'm excited to talk about that one. And later in the show, Everland, extre- extremely popular, popular place to go. We'll fill you in on that. But- So we've covered uh, a few things, uh, just kind of top of the show, introducing kind of what it is you guys do, a lot of the different uh, kind of cookie jars you have your hand in. The first one we jumped into, a go-karting trip. That one's pretty awesome. If you want to go on that one, it's Saturday, March 14th, 10 in the morning till 4 in the afternoon. Got to make sure you sign up by the 11th, though, for that trip. But this next one, we were kind of going on the interwebs to kind of do a little bit of research because it was new to me. Yeah, it's it's new to me too, and it looks so exciting. And we got, I mean, yeah, like you said, we looked it up on the internet. We got notes on the paper all over the table here. There's sure. so much information about it. I just want to try to see if I could sell it correctly because it's going to be an amazing <laughs> there, experience. There's so much to it. Uh, from what I understand, it's called the Jindo Miracle Sea Road Festival Field Trip. We were looking at pictures online, kind of reading the descriptions on different Korean websites for like tourists, etc. But my understanding from what we gathered here is that there's a sea of sorts that you'll go to and at certain time it said what did it say once a year is that what once it said once a year so this is your only opportunity in 2015 and the cys youth center is bringing it to you so don't miss this opportunity once a year you need to be a movie trailer guy i'm telling you okay <laughs> this <laughs> this what, what what month is it in march this march this march coming soon <laughs> to a sea near you uh, I, I can't do the big voice like you can. Absolutely. It's, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry. March 21st. And we are actually partnering with our friends at the MWR Camp Humphreys Outdoor Rec. Oh, cool. Um, so what they do is they're offering this trip um, to adults. Um, and we are piggybacking along with them. Uh, it takes some spots and, and uh, uh, run our permission slips and our own fees um, through the CYS. And then we will pay the rest from our CYS budget okay. to Outdoor Rec so they don't you know, lose anything on this, but it's just a great opportunity for us to partner. Um, since again, it's a once a year opportunity. It's a great opportunity, young and old, um, to come out and experience uh, part of Korean culture, sure. um, get off base, get into the community, um, and just experience whatever uh, Korea has to offer. And my understanding is we're plugging here, the Jindo Miracle Sea Road. The reason it's called Miracle, if you haven't really gathered, happens that once a year, it has to do with the tide kind of going in and out. And effectively you get to walk through the sea of sorts from what we're gathering. Yes, so. well, from what I can see from uh, once a year, the Yellow Sea recedes and opens up a 2.8 kilometer curving path from the Jindo mainland to the neighboring Modu Island. Now I'm telling you, does that not like sound like something like a once in a lifetime? Because it sounds pretty once in a lifetime to me, especially if you're here just for that one year tour. Yeah, it, it, it's going to be an amazing sight. Uh, just looking at the pictures we're online, um, it's uh, the tide, it's lower tide based on the gravity of the sun and the moon. So it brings it once a year, so it gives people an opportunity to walk through a road that parts. Um, they can walk all the way over to the neighboring island. Um, they can uh, they gather seashells, uh, fish type things that are out there, I guess. So it's good things to see. Sure. And, and the Korean community turns it into a big festival. That's awesome. So we'll be down there all day. I'm sure there's going to be lots of street food, lots of entertainment, um, lots of fun stuff that... Uh, you know, uh, we don't even know what to expect. Sure, That's and it's funny. So exciting. It's funny because earlier in the show, I, I recommend a movie every day, and I was recommending The Prince of Egypt based off the Exodus book and the Bible about Moses and parting of the Red Sea, and this was not planned at all. It's just kind of a cool coincidence that this happens. But, George, when we were talking during the break about this trip, you were here before, and you said this reminded you of a, a different place as well. Is it uh, Jebdo? Yeah, Jebdo Island, Jebdo. Yeah. And they have a similar, um, they have a road that... Uh, with the tide sure. reveals itself uh, maybe twice a day, once or twice a day, and they have a little clock up there, so you know, and they have bus. when, yeah, yeah, so you know it's coming. Did you did you go to it or oh, did you just hear about yeah. it? Oh I yeah, was there once. Uh, was it was it as cool as it sounded? It was really, it was. Is he actually a little unnerving to see a road completely covered <laughs> and then know I'm going to be traveling through that road? Hmm, will I survive said uh, <laughs> well, experience? Hopefully the 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, now There's we've added time. a little like a hint of danger and intrigue to the trip. Yeah. We'll make sure we put water wings or something. On there you go. Are walking by. Everyone will have like the flotation devices as they go across. I'll, I'll wear a skipper hat so we all. Feel yeah. Right. Follow the leader. No, we were looking at pictures online. Truth be told, and it looks really cool. Like it really does. It sounds like thousands of people go to this thing, and you'll just kind of walk. And I, I can only imagine, especially in a photo culture that we are, you could take some really cool photos from the water. I make it look like you're walking on water. Yeah, it's, it's going to be amazing. Uh, um, what, one of the things we do, a lot of the older youth have, have been bringing to my attention is, uh, you know, they see these festivals and things that are going on in Korea all the time, and, and they've been asking for a trip that, that to go to one of these festivals, and I think this is uh, probably the biggest one we can go to. Sure. Um, it's going to be a full-day event. Uh, it's going to take place on Saturday, March 21st. Um, like I said, we're partnering with the Outdoor Rec Facility, so we will be meeting at Outdoor Recreation at Camp Humphreys and departing at 9 in the morning. And we won't be back until midnight. So we got quite a little bit of a bus journey on our hands. Sure. Um, but then we have a full day, like I said, plenty of entertainment out there. Um, great opportunity to take pictures, take videos, um, see something that you're probably not going to be able to see once you leave Korea. So a uh, great opportunity. And, uh, so, so you guys are partnered, partnered with Outdoor Rec. Would they contact Outdoor Rec or through you or either? Well, they can, they, if they're going to come with us, uh -huh. uh, with CYS, they would be coming with our staff members. So the teens don't, they be chaperoned by us. Okay. So they would fill out a permission slip with CYS like they do with anything else and be registered um, with CYS for 6th through 12th grade. But this is also open to the community. Any adults who want to go can count, contact Outdoor Rec. Um, and I'll give them a plug. Their number is 753-3013. So this is an event that they um, initiated. Sure. And we're, we're just tagging along. So if you want to send your youth 6th through 12th grade um, on their own, you don't want to attend, then that's where we fall into place. And, and come sign up with us, and we'll take care of them, chaperone them, get them there and back, and make sure they're taken care of and safe for the whole trip. If the whole family wants to go and adults want to go, go ahead and count the contact Outdoor Recreation 753-3013. Sounds like a great trip. The Jindo Miracle Sea Road Festival Field Trip, Saturday, March 21st, 9 in the morning till... Is, am I reading that correctly? Midnight? Yeah, or? we'll okay. be back at around midnight. Full day. Yep. Full day. So definitely check that out. you got to register by the 17th, which should be a lot of fun. What's up? We're Hot Shell Ray. And you're watching YCTV. Perfect. There we go. That, was that easy. Nailed it. <laughs> and that's the wrap. My name is Army Sergeant Aaron Loy, still joining me in the studio from the VIB and CYSS, that's Visual Information Branch, and Child, Youth, and School Services, George Jumar, the Chief at VIB. Thanks for being here, sir. Well, thank you very much. Absolutely, and also Jared Barrett, been on the show quite a bit. Uh, he's the Youth Services Director for Family and MWR, CYSS at USAG Humphreys. Jared, thanks a lot for being here. Absolutely, thanks for having me. You're very welcome. We're going to close up the show with one more trip. You can go on a very popular destination as we were talking during the break there. It's to Everland Amusement Park. Yes, sir. We were talking all the rest of the show about new things and new trips, sure. but uh, we got to keep the old favorites going. An older but a goodie. I think the young people would riot if we did not do this <laughs> Probably. a few times a year. Um, like you said, it's one of our most popular ones. We're heading to Everland Amusement Park um, Saturday, March 28th. Um, the trip will be uh, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, registration is $15. Um, that covers your transportation, covers uh, your ticket into the park. They just need to bring their own Korean wand for lunch. Um, and our registration deadline will be Wednesday, March 25th. But like we said, this is the most popular event, and I only have so many places sure. on the bus. So again, the deadline is March 25th, but you can start signing up today. Um, so the sooner you get signed up, the better off you're going to guarantee your spot on the bus. Um, the trip will fill up. And if you've never been to Everland, I've been a, a couple times. It's kind of like a, a smorgasbord of the different ones we have in the states, like the Bush Gardens and the Six Flags and things like that. If I remember correctly, there's a Rose Garden, so like more of the scenic stuff you can do. There's the European like eateries section, so you can go to a lot of different European restaurants. There's your like typical Americana like roller coaster section, which is a lot of fun. And there's a safari zone, which is my favorite personally. Uh, and then there's a like shopping kind of like touristy, you know, buy goodies and, and, and things of that sort. I want to say that's the main five. I for, believe, yeah, I, yeah. Believe, I believe you nailed that right on the head. Um, that's exactly correct. There's something to do for everybody. Um, Have but, you been to Everland yet? Have you had a chance to go? I've been to Everland. Yeah, a it's, few it's times, probably yeah. a silly question. You're like, come on, Aaron. Have, have I been to Everland? What, do, you, what, do you know what I do? Once the weather breaks, yeah, we might be going <laughs> once a month. So. There you go. 
Well, um, what's your favorite part of the? Me, it's me, definitely the safari. Personally, I'm a roller coaster guy. Are you? Absolutely. Yeah. So it's great for me to take this age group against for sixth through twelfth graders for CYS. And sure. That is where we spend our whole time. Yeah. So. And there's two really big ones, if I remember correctly, if my memory serves. I yeah. mean, there's more than that, but there's, there's the two really big ones. There are some um, uh, two big ones, absolutely, and I don't remember the names of them, but yes. Sure. And and the good part about Everland too, they do it a little differently than I remember when going to a music park when I was a kid. Is we can go straight to the big major ride, and you can pull a ticket. Yes. And they tell you to come back between this hour. Um, yes. So you no, you're absolutely in line right. For two and a half hours. And I remember going to when I was in junior high and high school, just waiting in line, and you spend the whole time to go on one ride. Um, so I think Everland does a real good job of giving the young people the opportunity to come pull that ticket right away, and then they can sure. go on four or five, six different rides. Um, and then come back and do the big one at the end. So it gives them an opportunity to really experience the whole park. That's a good point, because, George, you were saying you've been to Lotzer World up in Seoul at least once or twice, right? Yes, once. And they do and they do a similar thing up there where they're kind of insider tip here. If you go to those parks, if you go on this trip, go to the one ride you really want to go to and pull that, that pass. It's some pass where I don't remember what it's called, but what you do is you get that slip, and it'll tell you to come back in a time frame doesn't cost you a dime, which makes no. no sense. I'm like, how are they not making money off this? Because in the States, <laughs> they'd be like, okay, give me your firstborn, give me, you know, all this money. No, it's free. And you come back and you get to skip the line. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's a great concept. And like you said, that's what I do. We, you know, we break the youth up into groups and there are chaperones. And I just tell my group we're going there first. And you know, they want to do it. We're not sure. going to stand there for the whole day waiting. And yeah, you just basically pull a ticket out of a machine. Yep. And it says you come between the hour of one and two. Sure. And you just walk through the express yeah. line and you're on in a half an hour. Yeah, and the uh, Safari Zone, I have to plug it because if you ever like watch like the old James Bond movies where like the car turns into like a, a boat of sorts or like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang where it does the same thing, they have that at Everland. One of the Safari Zone trips, it is so cool. You will get in this bus, you'll drive through this safari area and see all these legit safari animals, and then you'll come up to a, a river and you'll start driving in the said river and you'll be looking around like, what is the driver doing? And it turns into this flotation device, and you float up along the river in this like cool Bond car. I'm, I'm not making this up. I, I don't. I don't believe you are making it no. up. I don't have the words for that. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, <laughs> really cool. It is really cool. When I went, when I went on that trip, we had the uh, the guide that's in there, like telling you about the different animals. And of course, I don't understand the Korean, but you kind of get the gist of it. She would pull the giraffes over with like leaves. They would stick their heads in your little Bond car. And feed them. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, if that doesn't sell, I don't know what does. We got some awesome roller coasters. You got the Safari Zone. You can see these things in this Bond kind of like float, chitty chitty bang mobile. You know. And, and the best part with all those different things to do is is when we take the young people here to Everland, we uh, you know we split them up into groups uh, by you know their what they want to do. So so sure. they'll be assigned to a different uh, staff member. Um, and we've had young people have gone to the you know spend a lot of time at the petting zoo sure. and things like that. So if you're not into roller coasters, uh, there's so much other stuff to do, and we will put you in the right group with the right group of people to make sure you get the most out of your uh, Everland experience. Uh, we're here to make everybody have a good time. That's a very good point to make. Depending on what you want to do, I think that's what makes this place so great because it is kind of compartmentalized. go you guys are good sports appreciate you doing that with all our stats there to push out it's 456 as we wrap up the show i do want to thank you guys for coming on thank cyss you. child youth and school services the Viv visual information branch uh we got about i'm um, doing my math here about, about a minute here to wrap up the show but uh, anything we missed on the show did we get everything out we wanted to push no i think we, we really did i just want to say that uh you can see our entire schedule of events at humphreys cys teen that's our facebook page at humphreys cys teen if if you want any more information about all the programs that we have, please call me at the Youth Center, 753-5614, to get your youth registered with CYS, which is free of charge for middle school and teens 6th through 12th grade. Please call 753-3413. And George, what about the visual information branch? Because I know less about what it is that you guys do. Is there anything that you would want to push out for the, the audience at all? Well, uh, we provide a range of services, uh, visual information. We uh, do graphic design, illustration. We have photography, videography, and we have equipment loan as well. Um, and sure. We use the VIO system that you could request those services, or you could give us a call. Well, it's too easy. I appreciate both of you being on as we wrap up the show. It's Adele Amitri. I appreciate you both being here. Thank Thanks you very much. much. You're very welcome. Here's Roll to Me.